Hey everyone! So I'm about to go to an event and it's a cocktail party so I'm wearing a black dress and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to wear a red lip. So I've been wearing red lips a lot in my videos lately and a lot of people have requested for me to do a tutorial on it so I figured since I was doing it tonight anyway I might as well film it. So the first thing I do is I scrubbed my lips with the Lush Bon Bon Sugar Lip Scrub and I suggest exfoliating your lips if you're going to do a bright or a dark lip color just because it will help the color go on more smoothly. And I also let my lips soak in the Rosebud Strawberry Lip Balm for about five minutes before I turned on this camera so that my lips are exfoliated and extremely moisturized. And then after five minutes, I wiped off the lip balm so that my lips are nice and soft, but they're not slick with lip balm products. And that's where I'm starting right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use either a concealer or a foundation. I'm using my Clay Depot concealer, but anything in your skin color will work for this. And I'm using a foundation brush and I'm just going to use a little bit of this right on my lips to neutralize my lip color. My natural lips are a little bit of a pinky color and if you want to wear a bright color and you want the color to be super true to the color in the stick, the best thing you can do is kind of neutralize your lips with either a priming product or using just a concealer or a foundation. So I'm just going to use this and I'm just putting it right on my lips. lip liner I'm using max burgundy lip pencil and for me for my skin tone with reds I tend to go for more brown based reds or more deep purple based reds like burgundy tones or dark mauves um, I don't really go for fire engine red or orangey red very often I do have a couple colors that are true reds but tonight I'm just feeling a nice burgundy color so that's what I'm gonna go for so burgundy lip pencil is a beautiful color and I'm actually going to line my lips and fill my lips in with this color And by filling in your entire lips with your lip liner, it's going to help your color last all night because lipstick wears off a lot easier than lip liner does. So having the lip liner underneath is just going to help the lip color really stay and you're not going to have to reapply as much. And it's a good base for your lipstick to sit on. It will make the color more pigmented. And one trick that I found with my own lips, and I don't know if this would apply for everyone, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway because it's something that I found. A lot of people will say to line slightly right outside of your natural lip line to make your lips look a little bit more plump. And I find that that is great for right in the center of your bottom lip going slightly under your natural lip line. But actually on my bottom lip, when I bring it out to the edges, I start following my natural lip line because if I follow outside of my lip line the same I was following on the bottom, it just makes my lips look super wide set and it's not attractive. So on the top, I go slightly outside and then right in the center of the bottom, but on the edges on the bottom, I follow my natural line. So that's just a little trick. I don't know if that will help you guys, but I figured I would tell you anyway. For a lip color, I'm going to use the NYX lipstick in Black Cherry, and this is pretty much a lipstick version of the Burgundy lip liner they are basically the same color and this is a beautiful color and it's not very expensive I got mine at Ulta and I'm using the MAC lip um, lip brush and this is the number 316 and this one's actually the one that you can take with you so you can pack a little bit of the lipstick color on the brush and then put it in here and take this in your purse and have a little bit of a reapplication if you don't want to take your whole lipstick although I tend to find taking the lipstick is actually easier so the reason I'm applying this color with a brush I don't normally use lip brushes and I really don't do it with dark lips either unless I have an event I'm going to where I want my lips to be a little bit more perfect a lot of times for videos, if I'm wearing a red lip, I just kind of stick it on out of the tube and it doesn't have to be perfect, but a lip brush is going to be a lot more precise and it's going to help get the color in the lines more. You would be surprised at how much you can go outside the lines and make mistakes with a red lip if you do it directly out of the tube. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips.
A lot of times when I wear a red lip, I'll do a little bit of an accent color, either a really bright magenta, or in tonight's case, I'm going to use a little bit of Max Fresh Moroccan, which is a similar shade of red, but this one I find has a little bit of like a copper reflect to it. It's super pretty and a little bit metallic, and since I'm not doing a gloss tonight because I want more of a satin finish, I don't want a glossy finish, this is just going to add a little bit of pop to my bottom lip. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the center of my bottom lip. I'm going to clean up my lip line with a Q-tip. This doesn't have anything on it. I'm just gonna run it along the edges of my lip line and then I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer to make my lips really pop and to set the color and keep it from feathering. So first, I'm just gonna take a clean Q-tip and I'm just gonna go around the edges of my lip line. I almost feel like I'm airbrushing it a little bit, like I'm just kind of buffing out the edges a little bit without smearing it. I'm just very lightly using the um, other side of the Q-tip now for my top lip just to smooth it out a little bit. And then the last step is to take my concealer again with a little tiny brush. This is the MAC 231. And I'm just going to take this concealer and line right outside of my lip liner. And this is going to really help the lips pop. And like I said, it's going to keep the color from feathering or fading throughout the night. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take another clean Q-tip and do the exact same thing. And this is just going to blend out the concealer just a tiny bit in case um, you can see it anywhere. Although I think it's okay and the brush itself should do a pretty good job. This is kind of just like a last step to ensure that everything's blended. So blending out the concealer. So that's it. That's how I wear my red lip. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.